Let's talk about ice cream. Not just any ice cream, but smooth, delicious, rich, lemony ice cream that will knock your socks off. You're going to want this recipe. So grab a pen and paper and let's start talking about it. I'm starting by prepping my ingredients. I have a half a cup of heavy cream, two cups of milk, four eggs, one and a half cups of sugar that is divided into two equal parts, six strips of lemon zest, and about two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Prepping the lemon strips is an easy step, but one that we need to talk about. So each strip I'm cutting, and I'm going to go back in and get rid of that pith. That white stuff is no good. It's going to make your lemon ice cream taste really bitter. So I want to go through and get those out of there. Leaving the strips intact like this is a great way, an easy way to infuse flavor in because we're going to put it into our milk and heavy cream, let it boil. All that great lemon flavor is going to seep into the liquids. And then what's great is because they're in strips, you can easily remove them without any problem when we're all done. So right now I'm taking half of my sugar, all that milk and heavy cream, and my lemon strips, and I'm putting it on the stove and letting it boil. In the meantime, I have my yolks, and I'm mixing that second half of sugar together, and then I'm going to let that set aside until my heavy cream and milk come to a boil. When my liquids have come to a nice full boil, I'm going to slowly pour that milk mixture into my yolk and sugar mixture, and I'm going to stir, stir, stir until everything is nice and uniform. From here, I'm going to put it back on the heat. So I'm going to put it back into that saucepan. Once I have this mixture back on the heat, I want to stir it consistently. You don't necessarily have to stir it vigorously, but you really want to keep that mixture moving within the pan. Otherwise, on the bottom, and this will happen if you let it sit too long, it's going to start curdling. Those eggs are going to get too hot on that bottom. So stir it often, keep an eye on it, and we're looking for what they call a nappe stage within this cooking. And it's about when the, when the temperature will hit about 180 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, a great way to test that is if you take a spoon and you dip it into your mixture you lift it up and if you swipe it across you're going to see that mixture stays put on that spoon it's not liquidy enough that it keeps moving around on that spoon so it's called nappe and that's when you know you're ready so when you are at that stage quickly remove it from the stove and have an ice bath ready to go an ice bath is important to have on the side because you're going to want to quickly pour it into your ice bath if you wait too long that bottom of the pan will still continue to cook the ice cream and you have a high chance of curdling so i like to strain it into the ice bath and i'm going to get rid of that lemon and i'm going to taste this and see if i want to add some extra lemon to it and go from there i like the lemon flavor so I add a little bit more lemon to it at the end which is just fine from here once it's in that ice bath once it's about room temperature, I'm going to want to put it into the fridge to let it firm up and fully chill down. My ice cream is ready to freeze and I'm so excited. You'll see that this custard sets up quite thickly, which is nice because it freezes faster then. So in my ice cream machine, this will probably only take about 15 to 20 minutes once it starts turning. You'll see here this custard sets up so nice and rich and beautiful and thick. And from here I'm going to put it into a container to put into the freezer. A tip I have on freezing ice cream is when you have it into your container to put plastic wrap over the top to prevent any air from getting in there. It'll stay fresher a lot longer. Let's talk about all the ways to enjoy this amazing ice cream. This would be perfect on strawberry shortcake. Really, any type of white cake this would go fabulously with. Any type of fresh fruit, not to mention just on its own, in a bowl, enjoying it on a warm summer day. This is Jen Barney from the Toasty Meringue. Thank you so much. I hope you can try this awesome sweet lemon ice cream.